Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a couple of completions to show you and a new unboxing to show you as well. And these have come to me from the wonderful people at ColourfulDIYCraft.com. Uh, they asked me if I would like some more products. I said yes, of course, because look how well these have turned out. So yeah, uh, I'll quickly show you this one. Um, I did have it up on the wall for Christmas and it's just the fireworky one, which I thought was quite good. You know, as you're taking your Christmas things down and you want to put something up for new year yeah uh then yeah oh <laughs> look i knew there was something else i meant to do oh that's typical this mistake yeah i wanted to put a b's rather than just plain crystals on there i was going to put white a b's and uh, yeah i've had it up on the wall without doing it because i ran out of time so before i put this one away for next year um yeah i will be putting those a b's on that christmas tree but look at the colors on that i just think colorful diy and everything i've got is colorful so yeah it's just a village scene i thought it looked a little bit like where i live to be honest because we've got a church and everything and well, there's a few churches round about to be fair and we have a christmas tree in the middle of the market square and everything so and then it was more of a sort of a new year one rather than a christmassy one although they've got a lot more snow than we've had so yeah that one's uh, an older one the price of that one was round about um, the four pound mark in uh, British money, thirty by forty. So yeah, so it has been up on the wall. So I did, uh, yeah, put some up that weren't quite finished because I just ran out of time this Christmas. It was terrible. But anyway, Easter is going to be fantastic. Just look at this bunny rabbit. Is this just not the cutest bunny you've ever seen? Um, I did only get it in uh, last month's unboxing, so if you check out Colourful DIY Craft Playlist in my playlists, uh, you will see the full unboxing on this one. But look at that, it's a big acrylic piece. It's huge compared to what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've taken the cover sheet off the back so you can see now, look, in between the flowers is all now completely clear. But look at our little face. Oh, and the amount of colours on this is just unbelievable. I mean, there's one, two, three, four different colours to make up that, that bow and the shading on it. And even the flowers have got three and four colours on them. So, and then all the shading on the bunny as well. And he's just popping out of his little flower pot to say hello. So, yeah, I, I've actually had to wrestle him. Um, from downstairs to bring him upstairs because he went as soon as I finished him last night I put him on the mantelpiece downstairs and hubby really really liked it and then as I've picked it up today to come and film this he said where are you going with that I said well I'm just taking it upstairs he says well it wants to be downstairs <laughs> so, it will have to go back but it does want sealing and um, it's very very good application of the uh, gel as well the um, glue because none of this is sticky at all not even the little base here which quite often they splurge the glue and it goes on the base it isn't so strictly speaking um it's not doesn't really need sealing but as i will be putting this away once the easter's over well, i will be putting it away till next year then really it does need to be sealed so that none of the gems move as i'm putting it in boxes and things um i suppose i could put them in bubble wrap and jiffy bags and things but yeah to be honest if you just do put the sealer on them it does just to protect them that little bit more but just thought you'd like to see the completed bunny and there was lots of gems left over yeah. they are acrylic gems so and there was no dmc code so unfortunately they will just be going in my generics but i did get some specials so the specials will be going into my specials uh was there just the one left over i think i only had enough of those to do the, the um, project i had a couple of the uh, like petally ones left over and i think i had some of the little yellow ones left over as well but all the hot pinks in this i just kept wanting to shout hot pink every time i came across one while i was doing it <laughs> hubby would definitely think i'd gone mad i'm sure i had some of those left over i wonder what i've done with them but anyway um yeah i've got two empty bags oh i know yes i had two left over i remember now there was two of these left over but there was no middles in these two flowers here so i've actually um just put a little bit of magic glue uh, or you could use sealer 
in between those flowers there and just put the middles in. I'm not overly keen, I think I've said before, on flowers that don't have middles in where it's just a petal and it's just like a picture in the middle. If you've got a gem, you might as well use it. So yeah, the two spares that I had, it was just enough to put in the middle of that flower there. So, oh, look at that little bunny. So he's going to be going uh, back downstairs. And yeah, I've put the two stands together. Uh, you can either use it with the like Easter egg style stand or just put it as a plain stand on that side. Um, to be fair, I didn't think that that would actually match. But now putting it together, because there is just this little line of blue here and there's a little bit of blue and purpley coming up here and obviously a lot of yellow, it doesn't look really, really bad. I thought it was going to really jar. Now, which way around did I put it? Yeah, I put it with the darker blue side uh, and the greens as well on the edge. So we've got like the blue here matching here and the green on this side matching the green. So it, I mean, you don't really see it anyway. It's just uh, me being picky as usual. But yeah, so that is that one done as well. Yay! So I'll just put those two, well, three gems on one side so that I can put them into my specials. And they will just go into my generics for kitting down. Right. Okay, let me just move away the completions. And let's have a look what we got this time. So, lots of new goodies. Uh, so let's see what we've got. We've got, oh, a canvas. Oh, oh, spoilers, spoilers. Oh, well, you can see it anyway. And oh, now then, that's interesting. Okay. And then we've got a box. Yay, I like boxes. And then we've got a painting. Right. So what shall we look at first? Shall I keep you guessing as to what's in the box? Yes, I'll keep you guessing as to what's in the box. So we'll have a look at this one first because this is one that's just that little bit different for me again. Um, it's very spring, summery vibe to it. Where's the end to open it? Come on, frame Liz. Uh, just while I'm opening this, if you do go and check out colourfuldiycraft.com, there is 15% off from the 1st of February to the 29th of February as a Chinese New Year celebration. So that's always worth having a look at. Yeah, we like money off. So do go and check that out. Obviously, if you're watching this at a future date, just double check to make sure what offers are on. But there's usually some really, really good ones. But that's brilliant. 15% off. Yay! But look at this, look at this for me. Look, flowers, more flowers, tell ya. I'm definitely uh, starting to show my age. Pen, boat and wax as normal. She is a special. And I just saw it and I just thought that just is so peaceful and summery. That uh, yeah, it's just very, very pretty. So hopefully she will be part of my summer display. Um, I think I am going to have to start uh, borrowing next door's uh, walls to put my pictures on because they are ever growing. I do change them out. I don't keep the same ones up all the time. I do like to have a little bit of a mix about. But uh, yes, is that just not very, very calm and pretty? So she's on this beautiful swing look. It's got these uh, posts here. Um, I'm hoping that these are either really, really far into the ground or it's got something else holding it up because, uh, yeah, that doesn't look very safe. <laughs> That's the grandma in me coming out. And she's on this lovely swing, uh, all made of like a plank there with all this thick rope with uh, some really good knots tied. And she's just sat, she's not swinging, she's just sat watching the world go by. And she's got all these beautiful flowers around her. Um, and then all these gorgeous little butterflies. So yeah, I'm just looking, these look a bit like poppies actually, don't they? the uh, flower shapes and everything what they'll look like once they've got the gems on them they sometimes look a little bit different but it's like ivy trailing and all the flowers it's just so so pretty and definitely very summer very summery and she's just got this gorgeous pink dress on look it looks like we're gonna have all flowers on the dress and it's just got this like, voil or netting over the top of it just to make it all floaty and she's got her little headdress on as well she could actually be like maybe been to uh, a may day 
celebration, you know, and danced around a maypole or something because she's no uh, shoes and socks on either. So she's just got little bare feet and she's just, uh, yeah, sat down on the swing, whether she's waiting for somebody to push her or whether she's just sat there. And uh, yeah, all the butterflies just flying around. Oh, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I could sit and look at it for hours. In fact, I think I might have to put this one in my eye line somewhere so that when I'm having a stressful day, I can just sit and look at that peaceful picture and think of me being sat on that swing. Actually, she's got the uh, same colour hair as uh, my eldest granddaughter, so I could pretend it's my granddaughter sat there, couldn't I? So it's at 25 centimetres and nine and three quarter inches, the actual uh, painting size, the bit that uh, you would put into your frame that you would see, which again is a nice quickish, smallish canvas to do, just to uh, pop and do. But yeah, that is so pretty. We are 10 different gems and colours and we do have crystal codes on. So that's good. We can do some uh, proper kitting down on this one into my new storage system i wonder how long i'll be saying new how long does new last <laughs> right let's have a look at these crystals okay did i say the price of her was three pound about three pound ninety seven ish so just around about the four pound mark ish which is a very very good value yeah, you're getting a piece of artwork that you've done yourself, but that is just such a pretty carving picture. And it's not what I normally get at all. It's not, I don't normally get just flowers and I don't really get figures very often either. So, yeah, this is a definite, not a Liz cute and cuddly canvas, is it? But, uh, yeah, I just saw it and I thought that is so, so pretty. Right, so we're starting off with a deepish pink. It's not quite a hot pink. It's a little bit pale for a hot pink. But it's sort of very serene colours, isn't it, this one? We have a honey gold and we have another shade of pink. And our, oh, lovely, shiny, clear silver. A nice grassy green, summer grassy green. And a lemony gold. And then, oh, look, all the little flowers. So it looks as though that's number seven, yes. So her dress is going to have all of the roses all on it. And then we've got roses trailing up, all climbing in between all the other flowers there as well. And some in her headdress. So I think we'll have to call her Rose, won't we? The little Rose girl, because she's sat with all roses on her dress. And then lots of green marquees. And yep, they have got facets on. And I think they're going to be all our leaves all the way around. So that's going to be a real nice deep pop of colour to make everything else stand out. Some little marquees in silver and then some of those little semispheres in gold. Okay, so what are we looking at now then? So that is number nine and number ten. Oh, so number nine and number ten are making up all these flowers around here and then just some like little berry type leaves or berries very type leaves you know what i mean you can sometimes get like those stems with like lots of berries on i know what i mean she's talking rubbish now aren't i <laughs> that's probably why i only order cute and cuddly because i'm not very good on gardening <laughs> pop those away and let's have a look at the next one now then i wasn't quite sure what i was going to get with this and i thought oh I saw it on special offer. Um, it's normally £8.99 and it says gorgeous cat special shaped drill diamond painting 30 by 30. But it had two cats side by side. And I thought, right, so are we getting one or are we getting two on the same canvas or is it just one? Um, I did think for like their normal price point of the 30 by 30s, that uh, that uh, eight dollars ninety nine or seven pound sixteen, um, was quite a high price point for one of their canvases. But I thought, oh, maybe it's special. But actually, then that is for two canvases, so they're just over sort of three pound fifty each. So if you buy two, so you get one for you and one for a friend. I feel a giveaway coming on. What do you think? Hmm. Okay. So keep watching. We'll just open one because they are both identical. They've got the same number and everything on them. 
And it is this gorgeous little bus trap. Look at that. You're okay, Millie is not in the room, so I can see say the CAT word without anybody jumping up and growling at me. <laughs> but this is just stunning. I love it. Uh, I used to have a little cat called Gemma. And she thought she was a dog. She was a great big fluffy tabby cat. And this just reminded me of her. As I say, um, before I met Hubby, um, I did used to have three cats, but unfortunately he's allergic. Um, so yeah, we've not been able to get any more cats, unfortunately. Pen, butt and wax. But yeah, Gemma was absolutely gorgeous. Sister. So at that time I had um, two dogs, three cats, rabbit, guinea pig, budgie, various hamsters from time to time, various fish from time to time. So yeah, we had quite, well, I had quite a menagerie. Um, I'm very much an animal lover, as you can probably tell. But yeah, I just thought that was so good. I mean, colourful DIY and everything is just so colourful. <laughs> it's a brilliant name for a craft company. I have to say, diamond painting company. Uh, they do do cross stitch as well, so do go and check out the uh, website. But yeah. And I just thought, rather than it being sort of greys and browns and things that, as I said, Gemma, my little tab, well, she wasn't a little tabby cat, she was huge. Um, was she was big when you actually picked her up. She was quite light, but she had this enormous amount of big fluffy fur. I'll see if I can find some photographs. I mean, it's before sort of digital cameras came out that we had her. So I haven't really got that many brilliant photographs of her. Um, the photographs that you had to develop and everything. So, you know, they were expensive in those days. You couldn't have hundreds of photographs like you can now. <laughs> Pick out your best. You just took one and hoped it worked. Uh, so, yeah, I just thought that would just remind me of her. Whether it will actually go on the wall, I'm not sure. Because I've got a feeling if Millie sees this, she's going to realise what it is. Because she's pretty switched on with um, cats and things. There was a photograph of something the other day or a picture that came on the television and it was just a picture it wasn't an actual animal and it did look like a picture but she just went bananas so yeah i'll make sure it and see what happens <laughs> no that's cruel <laughs> anyway uh, if you're new to the channel hello thank you for coming along i hope you subscribe and stay uh, and everybody else hi thanks for coming back uh, yeah, Millie is uh, my little Scottish Terrier, our, our little Scottish Terrier, Scotty Dog. Uh, and she does feature in some of my videos. Uh, she's downstairs at the moment. Uh, it's a little bit warm upstairs, so she's stayed down while I'm just doing some videoing. Uh, this one then is 11 different gems and colours. Uh, it is, it'll be a 25 by 25. It's quite a nice shape to cut out. You know, I do like cutting out basic shapes when they've got a white background but because it's got all this fur here and it's got these whiskers here it would be a shame to cut those off and it would be very very difficult to cut those um even with very fine scissors when they've got the gems on i suppose you could cut it off but that you know spoils part of the picture so i won't be cutting this one out it will just be going in a frame once it's done so i do think i might have to just put it in a corner in my craft room um, away from all the Scotty dog wall though because you know that might just upset it <laughs> oh dear what goes on in my head just don't ask <laughs> oh so let's have a look oh look so it looks like my puss cat and it starts off with a hot pink and that's a definite hot pink we've got a very pale lemony gold We've got a honey gold there. We have a lovely aqua blue and a sky blue. And that's like a sort of a darkish uh, greeny grey colour. And then in the larger sizes, we've got some uh, little red rounds with no facets on. So they're the semi-spheres. Semi and then we've got the orangey, um, orangey rounds with the iridescent coating on. We have some little champagne gold teardrops, some marquees in your aqua blue, and some marquees in pale green with an iridescent coating on. So it's quite a good colour palette, this one. Apart from like this colour here, everything else is a lovely bright colour. 
we're going to have quite a lot of fun with that one so we will get that one done okay so giveaway 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 i'll yep i am going to do a giveaway on this one then so it's a subscriber giveaway so i would prefer to be subscribed please and um, if you do want to win this one i will ship it worldwide uh, as long as i can ship it to your country then it will be winging its way to you and i will think of a hashtag word to put in the comments for the end of the video so i'll leave that one sat there okay so let me just oh, move the little gemma across there so we've got a rose and a gemma today. How oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I think one of the first dolls I ever got was called Rose. Was she called Rosebud? Yeah, she had Rosebud written across the back of her neck. Very strange. That's funny what comes to mind, isn't it? I can't remember why I went into the kitchen, but I can remember what my doll was called when I was about three years old. <laughs> okay, so this one's come in a box. And it's one of my lovely hanging signs that I do like. And look at that. So it's an acrylic. It's a nice thick acrylic as well. You've got your two holes here for hanging it up. Just see there. And it is the 12 signs of the zodiac. And we're starting off with Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio is that? Scorpio, yeah, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. So, yeah, I just thought that was quite good. And actually, that's quite clear. To be honest, it's more or less full drill. Um, although it is a special drill, we are all crystals. Oh, and it's all banged up as well. Yay. And it has got a few specials on it. Um, that is quite clear for a smallish canvas. Uh, the, the writing hasn't got any gems on it which is good because that writing would need to have quite big um gems on it would be a lot bigger to be able to read it but we've got the sun and the moon in the middle so i'm wondering are they the sun signs and that no no just thinking about like your earth signs and your water signs and things i'm not quite sure how all the signs fit in that but these are just literally in your months so starting off at like Taurus is around, is it April, May Taurus, May, June, June, July, July, August. Yeah. So that's how it's going round from that. I only know because my birthday's <laughs> in July. So I can sort of work it back. I've got a lot of family members at Taurus. So I know that they're April and it goes into May and Gemini's May because I know some friends that are that. So yeah. Um, you tend to sort of know star signs a little bit if you friend from friends and family and things. If you're into that sort of thing, I did used to follow my um, horoscopes and everything every day. It's a long time since I had. I think it's probably since I stopped getting newspapers, to be fair, and started reading news online and things. But I just thought this would be really nice to just put up just as like a sun catcher or something in the window. And with it being crystal, it's going to be very, very nice. So we have pen, boat and wax. And we do have our little hanging chain, so you could either use uh, command strips or something to put it up. Or you can use just your chain, which is there's quite a bit of weight on this chain, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, it's just a link chain. And we've got the two sort of standard. They're not, well, they are, I suppose they are a lobster claw clasp. But they are the easier ones to use rather than using jump rings or anything. You know, they're quite a, they're quite a nice, uh, easy motion easy movement for hanging things up for getting things uh, on and off your project so yeah really pleased with that it is very thick as well actually a very good thick acrylic so the actual measurement of this one is about seven and three quarter inches which is about 19 and a half centimeters across so yeah a nice little size i think if you hang that in your window you know you'll get the sun coming through and you'll get all the shine on all the star signs Ooh, let's have a look at the leo oh it's quite a good lion as well that one look so we've got the lion there we've got virgo's a lady there libra's the scales scorpio yeah you can actually see what these are i'm hoping that you can i'm trying to keep the um the glare off we've got capricorn uh, sorry sagittarius which is the man horse um Capricorn. Can't remember what Capricorn is. 
Aquarius is the water sign. I know that. It's Capricorn. Oh. I, can't, I can't remember what that one is. Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to tell me in the comments down below. Pisces is your fish. That's hubby. Uh, Aries is the ram. Taurus is the bull. Gemini is your twins. And we're back to Cancer the crab there. So, yay. I like that. Really, really good. Let's have a look at these gems and colours. You can hear barking in the background. That's uh, the dogs that live near us that have just come back. Uh, they always like to announce their arrival. <laughs> oh, so it's all, it's all letters. And let me have a look on these bags then. So Q138, Q82. Yes, it has got the numbers on the bags. Oh, that's good then. So that's the kit number, the ZJD33. And then that number at the top there is actually the uh, gem number. So we've got gem numbers. Yay! Okay, so specials then. We might as well start off with these because I've got them in my hand. So we've got tiny rounds with stars stamped in. A couple of uh, red semispheres there. They're small as well. There is a lot of colours in this. Just let me count them. It won't be a second. Gosh, there are actually 24 different gems on this one. So that is amazing. I mean, that is just a smallish size, but 24 colours. That's brilliant. Wow. I mean, you could actually just use that as a plate as well. You know, if you put it in a plate stand, if you don't want to uh, display it on the wall, if you've just got, say, a sideboard or something, it will just fit nicely in a little plate stand. So you could just stand it up rather than having it on the wall um, or having it hanging. Hmm. Okay, I like that idea. Right, so let's look at the rest of these colours then. So it goes from one to nine and then it goes into alphabet. So... We've got your standard crystal, number one. We've already done those two, so I won't bore you and do those again. Uh, but what have I done with number two? I thought I'd put them in order. Maybe we've not got a number two. If I come across, <laughs> if I come across a number two, I'll let you know. Stop it, stop it. Right, number three is like a slightly off-white crystal. Sorry, it's a slightly sort of a grey crystal, slightly different colour. Number four is your lemony gold. Number five is your nice grassy green. Number six is that lovely sort of jadey, greeny, bluey colour. Number seven is a nice sky blue. Number eight is a slightly darker blue. Oh, sorry, we've got quite a bit of glare today. Number nine is uh, another blue. And eight, then we're on to A. Is that number two? Yes, we found number two was a red look. <laughs> oh dear, I'm pleased we found number two. Right, so A is a A is a lovely blue colour. It's that real glassy blue, purpley blue. Love that colour. And then we've got B is an orange and then a bronzy colour. And your standard 310 black. There's not a huge amount of any of these colours, so it's going to be quite a few colour changes and quite a bit of like confetti. But it's going to look great when it's done with all these colours on. We've got another sort of chestnutty brown colour, a pale blue, and a lemony gold. And that's like a peachy colour, and a darker brown colour. And then we have some pearls with an iridescent coating on. And some rounds with an iridescent coating on. And some gold oval shapes. Oh, they're nice. You can see where the gold ovals go. And here, so they're all different ones to go with each sign. And then we've got some little teeny tiny pink flowers. So the flowers are going to go. Oh, on Sagittarius. This is going to be really interesting to do, to see what colours and everything they put on them. And to uh, how they uh, all relate. Hmm. Could be a whole video all to itself talking about it. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, but 24 is a lot of colours on one project. So, yeah, look at all those. Good colour palette there as well. So, let me pop these back in. And we'll put the little chain in as well to keep that all together. 
Okay, so huge thank you, Colourful DIY Craft, for sending me these. Don't forget to go and check out that 15% off until the 29th of February. So you've got an extra day this year. Uh, yeah, there's 29 days in February this year, so there's an extra day in the sale. Yay, we like extra days. We like sales. And huge thank you for sending me these. These are absolutely wonderful. So giveaway, giveaway. Can you think what the hashtag's going to be? Yep, so I want hashtag C-A-T, so hashtag cat in the comments down below. Um, I'll leave it for two weeks, so we're looking sort of towards the end of February. Um, and once I've collected everybody in, uh, I will do a live draw, I'll get hubby, I normally print out the names, uh, and I get hubby and Millie to draw out uh, the winner, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, and then I do put a pin a message in the uh, messages on the actual uh, video post to say that it's now closed, but it'll be roughly two weeks. So yeah, somebody will win one of these canvases. Of, uh, well, I'm still calling it Gemma, you'll have to let me know, uh, whoever wins it, you'll have to let me know what you're going to call yours. <laughs> So yeah, we've had beautiful Gemma, the pussycat. We've had gorgeous Rose on her swing there with her roses on her dress. And then this wonderful star signs, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm really, really pleased with that. It's so much better when you see it in real life to just seeing something on a website. Uh, that's why I love showing these things and actually seeing them because I can share them with you. Yay! <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up, so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Don't forget to comment hashtag cat if you want to be in with the chance of winning that canvas. Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.